I, I just came to get my hair braided. I don't know what's going on here. One of them tried to talk about my coat, talk about they got a fur too. And, and that's what came upstairs. <laughs> My bestie friend house. She just braided in my hair. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you the gift she got me. So, we grown over here. We don't. <laughs> we not kids. We just give birthday Christmas gifts. So I wanted to stop blogging on my phone, but I needed a tripod for my camera. And then I plan on doing a color class that we're gonna probably start recording tomorrow. And she got me this to be able to hover over. Well, record overhead, baby. I think I'm gonna take not necessarily take her wig, but because let's talk about it. So, sometimes I overkill with the inventory, trying not to be sold out and all that. And I don't offer wig installs like that, so I don't really have a portfolio to showcase my work. I just like being creative, make the wig, you go do what you do with it. And so I told myself, this is December 3rd or 4th, um, that by, you know, come January when I really go back to the salon, cause I probably take Christmas, I'm gonna be home to take appointments during Christmas, but from Christmas to New Year's, I'll probably be in Florida. But I see I was going to start mastering my installs, baby. I just cannot wait to have this part. And she's a little, she's, my client's a little older, so I don't know if she's really gonna be feeling this a dramatic ass bang that I wanna do, but y'all, Y'all know that's going to hit, right? And if you curl hair and don't cut it, something wrong with you. I don't know what you got going on, but you need to fix it. But yeah, I'm like feeling the sad bang. It's giving very much, it is giving very much Beyonce vibes. And y'all, this is a pre-made wig. My vendor colored it and everything. Like, I love my wig vendor. Um, because I found this good one vendor, I probably won't be making wigs for my company anymore. I'm just going to be um, customizing and, you know, making these. Like, just buying them like this and giving them to my, giving them, selling them to my clients. But, like, I add an extra bundle to my pre-made because we all know it should be a little thin no matter what density you get. It just don't, it don't give what it's supposed to give as if it was some bundles in there. So, baby, I add my little bundle in there and it make it Hey, okay, so maybe I should record me getting this together. And so I have like 10 of these. And I think I'm gonna take one. And then I think I'll, cause like usually I put in the same, like I put like, so this is the 18 inch, so I added an 18 inch bundle. I might put a 20 inch bundle just to try to make it a little longer. Cause it's like right here. Just a smidge. I don't know, but I'm feeling it though. I gotta get used to looking at the lens. If y'all see me looking over here, it's cause I'm looking at my screen. But I have a new lens. I got a new tripod for Christmas. And I'm just like, I gotta get back into being on YouTube. So yeah, I like this color blend. Like it's it's giving what it's supposed to give. So. so I'm always making reels and stuff. So I gotta get in. It's so hard because it's like, YouTube videos need to be vertical. Reels need to be, I said that, yeah. Vertical, horizontal. I might have said that wrong, y'all. Don't don't kill me. I'm sleepy. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. And I got to be up in a couple hours. Not a couple hours. Like at 5 or 6 to go pick up my little brother from work. But either way, I'm going to get this together. Because I've been working on my Google's installs. And I want to put this on me. But I think I'm going to do. I ain't going to say I'm going to do. I might do a sad part. Let's see. Once this is like, you know, flat and I can get this curb and I can really see what's going on. But I'm just, this is what, I just love it. I love it. I ain't even got it all together. I got to blow dry it. All those nice things. But yeah, so my vendor, they bleach the knots for me, they color it for me, they just make my job so much easier. And people be like, are you gonna steal the vendor? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why would I give the competition the plug? Like that's the best plug to have is, I don't have to bleach knots. It comes pre, it comes pre plugs. I probably could plug us some more, but I didn't alleviate a lot of the work for me to be able to go do something else. Sorry. I was not giving the plug to just, um, Samsung and vice versa. I'm not gonna be giving this. I'm not selling this. Not at this moment. Let me not say it like that. But I love these wigs. 
because it gives me a less work. Now, some stuff I can't get through them because they just can't get the color scheme together. Like, some colors they just wouldn't get. But, like, this, like, if I had this, I could technically, and I might try it, and just throw a different color on it. So, I could throw a red on top of this. I could throw an orange on top of this. And it'll give me two mm, That's going to be fine. The creative juices are flowing. And I could live, like I said, I have 20, no, I have 10 of these. So, I could keep five like this and the other five just dip in some color. I could either do the watercolor method if I wanted to or I could go in. Because well, watercolor, watercolor can fade real fast and I would want some longevity in this for the price points and stuff like that. So, if y'all see me with a real wig and it looked like this, you know what I did. I have come to the shop and set up my desk. I just had a, um, a card table here before and it was taking up more space than I want to. So I went and got, not today, I've already had the tabletop before the holidays, but I'm actually putting it together now. But this is the Ikea tabletop for $8 and the legs are $4 a piece. So you have a nice size desk for $25. Um, most desks start at 50. Sometimes you can catch a sale, but if you got an Ikea in your area, the Lineman, I think is what it's called, uh, Ikea desk, I mean, tabletop and the Adels, A-D-I-L-S, I think, um, and legs. I literally have these all over my house, depending on what tabletop size I have. Like in my bedroom, I have the largest one. Um, I actually put one on top of an organizer in three places in my home. So Ikea tabletops be A1 because like I say, this is only $8. <laughs> it's really, really inexpensive and I love the tabletops. So yeah, go get you one. And then my next task, so this is my desk. This is like the accent wall I can have. Obviously it just looks, you know, whatever. I'm thinking to get some framework panels or wall panels or whatever. You guys give me some ideas of what you think I should do. The accent color obviously is gonna be my brand color is what I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of what I want. What I want costs $45 a frame, so we might have to skip that. We might have to go to the ones that's $11 a frame. While I'm here, I'm going to measure the wall and see how many panels I need and all that good stuff. So we'll see. household have a drill in it because it makes the job that much easier because if i had the hand screw this we would baby i would have been trying to tell somebody else to do it <laughs> so of course as soon as i cut the camera off my drill died so while we wait for this to charge i'm just gonna go run to the bank so the reason why i'm going to the bank well, i'm gonna say the reason why i'm going to the bank but i do plan on doing like a salon breakdown so i have a 400 square foot um, salon space, which would typically be like somewhat a suite, but it's bigger than a suite if you give it, if you catch my drift. Um, but the reason why my bill was why the bill is so different now is because for whatever reason I had I had no it ain't gonna be so whatever by accident or whatever I left my air on on instead of auto. So once it got to a certain temperature, you know, it would kick off to save. And my ass had it on auto, so it was just blowing and blowing and blowing for days when I'm not here and all the other stuff. So that is why you see the significant difference between this month's bill and last month's bill because, baby girl, what were you doing? And this covers today. So today is December the 1st, and this is when it's due. I actually got just got this today when I came in, so I don't know how long it's been sitting in there because um, I did go out of town for Thanksgiving. But yes, this is for my 400 square feet. Now my... 800 square foot because I felt like it was a little better insulated to me as far as heat and everything. It was maybe that's what it is. I don't run gas heat in this salon. I run electrical heat. So my electrical bill probably would be close to what my other salon was because I had a gas bill at my other salon. I don't have a gas bill here. So that might be some of the difference. Um, but my electric bill at the shop, the old shop would typically be that 165. I think the highest I ever got was like 220 because it was so cold outside. And then not even, it was cold. So it is running, it still runs some type of electricity to, to run the gas heater or whatever. But I had, at one point in time, I had five stylists and a nail tech. Me and me included in that five, so it was. It was. I feel like that's a typical light bill for a full staff salon. So 
I will do a breakdown. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in my vlog or just do part of the breakdown. So y'all, I got on the phone after I came back from the bank. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. So we got the table completed. Now we're gonna work on the chair. The chair looks like that chair. So I'm just gonna put it together so it can be with my desk and I can be done. So my office is coming along. Let me see if I can kind of back out so you can see, see. That's why I need, I need like a picture on that wall maybe and like some accent art or whatever I'm gonna do on this side. This side is really like storage or whatever. Some of this is trash, so we are gonna move it around. Like, I really don't want this ladder in here, but it does come in handy sometimes. And I really don't have like a storage closet in my salon, because again, my salon is only 400 square feet and I did not pick the layout. So we making it do what it do. The next morning. I'm on my way to Fort Lauderdale. It is probably five in the morning. I just checked my bag. I do have TSA pre-check and clear. So, I be, baby, I don't sit in no lines. Baby, that's my luxury. I don't know nobody else. But baby, I'm not doing no type of line whatsoever. It's worth it for me. I fly maybe two, three times a month. So, it's worth it. Good morning. Good morning. Fingerprint. Y'all, so we always see these outside our house, but we never catch them during a maiden call. Cause it's about three of them maiden. Or uh, saying, hey, they trying to get their hot girl summer on. <laughs> So today is my birthday. I am 31 years old. And so I had a hot tool sale where every hot tool would be $31 for 16 minutes. Even though some people didn't read the time zone, it's okay. But y'all, I made 10K in 18 minutes. I did not know my sale would do that well. Like, and the crazy part about it, like I was already happy because I had doubled my online sales from last year before the sale. So I was like, okay, I met my goal to double. Like next year, I want to double this year's amount. Hopefully I can do it. Um, but yeah, I'm ecstatic. Like this was a good birthday. Like I ain't even really got nothing planned, but I went to dinner the last two couple nights or whatever. I'll post those, but yeah, it's lit. <laughs> y'all, the world is coming to an end, y'all. Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. This shit is a dollar 25, like everywhere. Ain't no limits. Everybody is a dollar twenty-five. COVID has messed the world up completely. Like this is the official tissue that the world is is officially fucked. <laughs> brother-in-law's wedding about to eat breakfast we decided not to eat at the hotel because we went to walmart and yeah i love me some hot house chicago doesn't have it and i'm gonna eat real good y'all so this is my first time vlogging on my sony 7c we gonna see how it turned out i don't know how people vlog with this thing or any type of camera for that matter because this thing is heavy I am currently in Tampa for my brother-in-law's wedding. We are at the Grand Hyatt. Um, it is December the 18th. My birthday was two days ago. I told y'all a little bit about that. I ain't really do too much because I'm about to step for the wedding. Me and Bae got like little matching outfits, you know. So y'all gonna see on the ground, you know how I'm coming. And I wanna show y'all my view outside. I don't know how clear it's gonna pop up. Let's see if we can. But this is the view outside of my window. So yes, that's where we at with it. I'm going to get this lighting and everything down to a science eventually. But yes, like right now I feel like I'm out of focus, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna keep up with that. If it's out of focus later, it's because I'm drunk. So yes, it's Lydia in the city. 
so I am attempting to do my makeup. I contoured way too much right here and I have to fix it. But we is coming along trying to get dressed. I don't have a flat iron to do my little baby hair on the side, so I'm gonna just swoop that up, or swoop and dupe, I don't know. But I'm gonna be cute. I might need to get out of the bathroom while my fiance in the shower, so I'm gonna mess up my hair. So yeah.